if I need to make edits or changes to any of my hatches, I can use my hatch edit tool that's on the flyout of the panel for modify. It asks me to choose a hatch area. I'm going to choose uh, my roof hatch area. And you'll notice that the hatch edit dialog box looks very similar to the hatch dialog box with a few minor changes. Now once I have this open with the hatch selected, I can make any kind of edits that I need to do, like change the scale, for example. We're going to change the scale to 0.9, which will make those uh, roof shakes appear a little bit smaller and we'll accept that. I can also activate my hatch edit box by just going on top of any hatch, double clicking, and it will automatically open the hatch edit box. We'll look at how we could uh, edit a hatch or a fill if we remove an island, for example, from a hatched or filled area. In this case, I want to remove this window. So I'm going to click on the window, see the grip show up, hit delete on the keyboard to delete it. Now this uh, solid fill area, I'm going to click on that and delete it also. You can now see that I have actually what's left over is a hole in my, uh, in my hatch and my fill area. Now I have two choices. I could either just delete each of the hatch and the fills and rehatch and refill the area, or I can remove the boundaries for the object that I just deleted and that would heal or fill in this hole. So to do that, I have to work with the hatch and the fill each. So I'm going to start with the hatch. I'll double click on this hatch to open up my hatch edit box and the tool I want is to remove boundaries. I'll click on that and you can now see the boundaries that were established when we first hatched this whole area. Those were the boundaries that went around the window. I'll right click and say enter, I'll preview, and now I'm filling that without the, because the boundaries have been removed. So we'll accept that for, with a right click. Now I need to work with the hatch. I'm going to double click on the hatch Again, use Remove Boundaries because each of these, the hatch and the fill, each created their own set of boundaries. So now we've removed those. We can preview. It's filled that in. I'll right click to accept. And we've taken care of the boundaries that were left over from that delete. So let's look at how we deal with uh, bound leftover boundaries if we need to move uh, an island. Uh, that's inside of a hatched area. Uh, let's say that instead of erasing this window, I want to move it. I'm going to select a move command and I want to select both the window block uh, and this solid fill. So I'm going to hit W on the keyboard to invoke a window which will allow me to select both of those items and now I need a base point of displacement so I'll pick this lower corner and turn ortho on so that I can use direct distance entry to move this horizontally four feet. And now I don't have boundaries that are being honored by the hatch and fill that I have and I have these left over so we need to deal with that. I'm going to start first with the hatch. I'll double click on the hatch itself to bring up my hatch edit box. Whoops, didn't get my hatch edit box. Try that again. I'll double click on the hatch to bring up my hatch edit box and I want to remove these boundaries. So I'll click on each one of them with my pick box and they're removed. But I need to add boundaries because I need to put put them over here. So I'm going to right click and, and one of my options is to add boundaries after I've removed. So I'm going to go over on top of the window and click and you notice that it finds those boundaries. And I'll right click and say enter and preview and now um, this has come back and I see my hatch in here we're going to go ahead and right click and accept that I'm going to uh, click on that hatch or double click on it because it uh, lost its place I'm going to say bring that to the front and now it's brought back in front of that, that uh, gradient fill
need to bring my window to the front too, don't I? So I'll click on the window. Um, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the window and use my tool, my modify tool, to bring to front. Now I have uh, I have this hole to deal with, so I'm going to get my filled area. Double click on that, remove boundaries. Right click, say add boundaries. Click in the edge of my window so it finds those. Uh, right click, enter, preview. That looks right. Hit the space bar and say OK. So now we have moved an object that was originally an island in a hatched and filled area and we have removed the old boundaries and added new boundaries. Of course we could have just deleted both the gradient fill and the hatch and then rehatch them uh, as another solution.